Okay, here we go. It's August 2011. I bet you remember watching Planet of the Apes, The Help, or maybe The Smurfs. Smurfs? Really? That was the third highest grossing film? It doesn't matter. It must have been a slow month. Well, it couldn't have been too slow because this film opened domestically in a whopping eight theaters. In case you missed it, here is Attack the Block. Meet Moses. He's a leader of a small gang in South London. All is fine until their block gets attacked by creatures from out of out this of world. world. Aliens. They get attacked by aliens. And now they must defend their turf and stop this invasion. It's inner city versus outer space. After getting mugged in real life, writer-director Joe Cornish was inspired to make a movie about inner city youth after he did research on his young assailants. But upon watching the movie Signs, and he wondered what would happen if Signs took place in South London and not on some boring ass farm, he combined these two ideas and gave us Attack the Block. Production company Big Talk Pictures took on the project with Edgar Wright attached. You know, the guy that made Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and Scott Pilgrim. This guy had a pretty good track record. With a budget of 13 million, the film went on to gross only 6.2 million worldwide, and is considered a flop. When casting Joe Cornish wanted to use unknown actors, which he did, it wasn't until John Boyega was cast in Star Wars and Jodie Whittaker was cast as the Doctor that this film grew some legs and is now considered a cult classic. With more than 60 years of alien invasion movies before this, Attack the Block manages to be an original action-packed comedy that must be seen. Okay, let's get into some fun facts. Director Joe Cornish based the character of Brewis on himself in his early 20s. Nick Frost grew his hair out for the movie Paul and decided to keep it for the role as the stoner Ron. Sony Pictures recommended the name be changed to Space Bears so that... I'm not even going to finish reading this, that sounds really stupid. Throughout the film, there are so many fireworks because it takes place on Guy Fox Night, aka Bonfire Night, aka the 5th of November. Remember? You know what? This is one of those movies where I wouldn't mind a sequel. Hashtag Attack to Block 2. Okay, that's all I got. Feel free to leave a comment with any movies you feel may have been missed and should be discussed. Thanks for watching. I'm smiling. I don't, I don't know why I'm smiling. You can't even see me. It's okay. <laughs>